Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about Git Squash. Now Git Squash is a functionality which will be very helpful when you are working on a bug or a feature and you have lots of commit. So you don't want to push them in main branch with lots and lots of commits. So you want to use fewer commits messages which will be easier to read for all of the other developers. So Let's say feature demo branch. We have these many commits for one fix. I want these commits to be squashed into one commit. So how we are going to do that? So let me take you to the git terminal. Now here, let me just type git log f5. Let's say seven slash seven commits. Here you can see test master one zero one and update. So I want one two three four five. I want all these commits to be squashed into one. Let's use a git command git rebase. Squash is not a command. Squash will be used with a rebase command. So I'll say git rebase hyphen i, which will be interactive head. So this is our source point from where we want to squash until five commits. So enter. Now you can see here we have five commits. I want to squash four of them and uh, one I'll just keep as ultimate commit message. So here you can see squash is the command uh, use commit but meld into the previous commits. You can check all of the commands here. To enter into the Vim editor, just enter i and just use squash here. You can also use s. As you can see here, squash or S you can use. So I'll use for these squash and one squash and others for S. Now this one has to be picked, right? So I'll just save. I'll just came out of this file, Vim editor, with escape and colon WQ to save the file. Now it will take you to the other file where you want to commit or remove the messages which you do not want to see. So I don't want to see these messages. So to enter into this file also, just press I and either you can remove or just commit. Commit, commit, commit. Now this is the one which we want to read in. And we can also add some squash applied. Five commits. Five commits into one. Escape colon wq save and this is done. Git log. So you see, this is our message and all of the commits which were squashed are under in this hash and this is the previous commits. Let's push into the remote branch. Okay, now this is why we are getting this error. Now this is happening because we are rewriting the history. So to push it, we have to use git force. git push hyphen f for force. Now it's done. Let's see. Now remember these are here. As soon as I reload it, these all will be gone. See, all are gone and only I can see one commit message. So this is the better way to make your history clean. This is all for this video. If you like the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. See you soon.